Uh, so right now I'm on my way to school. It's Monday the 29th and it's my first day on the fall semester 2016, my first semester at SMC. And today I'm gonna do something that is pretty normal at SMC. I'm gonna crash a few classes, or not a few, one class. So I'm on my way to an accounting class that I wanna crash. And basically what crashing a class is, is you're going to class that you're not like assigned to, but the class that you want to take. And if the people taking that class are dropping the class, you can take their place. And there's actually a lot of people dropping classes the first week of school. So usually if you crash a class, you can actually get it. So hopefully I get this accounting class because I really need it. Uh, but it's pretty early. It's 8.30. So right now it's 7.30 and I'm on my way to school. It might not be that early, but for me it's early because I'm not a morning person. But yeah, so after crashing that class, or actually during that accounting class, I need to go to my assigned class, which is Econ 15. And after my Econ 15 class, I actually have to go back to the accounting class because it's two and a half hours and go back to that class and get it, like an ad code. And after those two classes, I need to go to my biology lab and then after that I have a biology class and after that I'm supposed to have a, a math class at UCLA but that one doesn't start until uh, September I think it's 18 so that's really nice because this is like my longest day in the metro uh, but yeah that's what I'm doing the, today so hopefully I'm gonna get this accounting class I'm actually pretty stressed right now I'm trying to run to school Right now I came from the first class I crashed, or actually the only one uh, I crashed. And there's three people on the waiting list and there is some people, other people crashing the class. However, I contacted this teacher asking if I could uh, get like an ad code about like a month or more than a month ago. So I think he's gonna let me be the one uh, or the first one to get added to the class of the people who crashes the class, I hope. I'm going to my second class of the day, which is Econ 15, and this class I'm actually added to or sign up for. So it's kind of funny because this is actually the classroom that I had my first Econ class in like a year ago, so that's kind of funny. Uh, so right now I'm down with my Econ 15 class and run into the class that I'm crashing, uh, uh, Accounting 1, and see if I can get an ad code or something. I was just in my Accounting 1 class and I actually got added to it, it's actually my class now. Uh, the only bad thing is now I have to go to my counselor and add it because there's some problems since I took this this summer and I did, did like a late withdrawal because like sickness and stuff like that and because my teacher said I had an F and like sent me like an official letter that I had an F but I didn't have an F I had actually like a high C so it, uh, I don't know what's wrong with that teacher I'm gonna complain about him anyways um, but I dropped the class so apparently since I did like a late withdrawal I couldn't add this class so it was like a lot, a lot of like complications I think I need to go to like a counselor to help me do that so I don't drop the class that I have right now and gonna have like less units that I have to keep my visa so a lot of work but at least I got the class though So I was just at the international counseling office in the little blue house over there, like outside of campus. I know it's so weird uh, to ask if I, uh, if like F1 students are allowed to uh, get a paid internship because we're not allowed to work, but we are allowed to get like a paid internship. You just have to like apply for it. So I'm gonna have a paid internship this semester and probably next semester too. So that's really great. And plus, it looks really good on. Uh, 
university applications and everything. So this is perfect. I'm so freaking happy right now. So right now I'm outside my biology building or actually it's just a lab building um, because I'm taking biology 3 with a lab uh, and I have my lab on Mondays but the way it works uh, at SMC is that if you take something like a science with a lab um, you don't you have it one day but not the other because you take if you're taking class you have it twice a week usually uh, but if you're if you have a class with a lab you're only gonna take the lab one day a week so Mondays I have my lab for three hours and then I have the normal class hours after that so it's gonna be a long day I think it's I have four hours of biology today so it's gonna be a, be a long day and here is the science building the science building is actually one of the most new and fresh uh, buildings at SMC. SMC has a lot of old buildings, but this is actually one of the newer, nicer ones. So right now I'm in SNC's bookstore and to buy this like laboratory book to do all the labs in. And yeah, this is the bookstore is kind of overwhelming in the beginning of the semester. And this is the textbook that we're gonna use for the lectures. Yeah. All the books are usually kind of expensive, but I'm gonna to see if they have it online for cheaper. Uh, so right now uh, I'm done with the bio lab and I'm here to buy the bio lab book because we have like almost an hour between the lab and the lecture. So yeah, being productive. I'm not sure, but I'm fine. <laughs> Let's try. Okay, we're in the lecture hall now. Are you sure this is? I don't think this is the right one. So right now I'm trying to find our lecture hall. So yeah. Oh, I think we have to take a paper too. So now my last class of the day is done. It looks like that, the lecture hall. So yeah. So yeah, that was my uh, first day of the semester at SMC. Usually the first week at SMC is really, really stressful. A lot of people are crashing classes, dropping classes, and are adding classes. And that's what I'm basically uh, did this first day. Usually it takes more than one day though. I was really lucky about that. Usually it takes about like a week, sometimes a little bit more. Uh, but usually if you, you get dropped, if you don't come to the first class, a lot of teachers do, do that. Some teachers wait more than one day to do that. But yeah, so I was really lucky. I got all the class that I needed like on one day or the class that I crushed, I guess. But yeah, yeah. So just keep that in mind. Like SMC can be really, really stressful the first week of school. Not that bad, to be honest. Okay, for picking more mate on Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, it's already five o'clock. So right now I'm on my way to school, it's Tuesday and on Tuesdays and Thursdays I actually only have one class which is acting one so this is going to be a pretty chill day, Tuesdays and Thursdays for the semester um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do and my acting class is actually on the PAC campus that is the only class I have on the PAC campus or on like a satellite campus this year so that's kind of nice too that I have basically all my classes on one campus so I don't have to like go all over the place Right now I'm here waiting for the bus or the shuttle bus to the PEC campus so that goes from the main campus to the PEC campus. There's also a bus going from uh, from here, the same bus stop here on the side of SMC with the, at the parking garage uh, that goes from the main campus to the Bandy campus and the other way around. But this bus goes, it used to, it used to go like every 15 minutes, now it goes like every like half hour or 30 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for this bus a little while longer. It's so annoying. SMC is famous for never having like parking spaces, but also 
all the drivers are such a bad drivers just this morning like right over there like they're, they're handling it right now there was a girl like crashing into the back of the bus uh, and I think there's like a fire truck there handling it right now but seriously like all the drivers here are so bad so bad they don't know how to drive I'm so fucking dumb. I'm back at the main campus because since it's like theater arts, I thought it was like on the pack campus, so I didn't double check my schedule. But it's in the theater arts building, which is on the main campus, so I'm freaking running there right now. So right now, I'm just done with the acting class right here. It seems like a good class, but it seems like a lot of work. So right now, this is my last class today and only class today. I did like the worst beginner's fail ever. I went to the wrong, even the wrong campus, not even the wrong classroom. It was the wrong campus. So just be sure if you're starting here, make sure that you know there's th three different campuses and there's a lot of different buildings so just make sure that you find the right building um, yeah i thought that everything like performing arts was on the same campus but it's not this is like theater arts building and they have like a lot of acting classes here but i think they also have acting classes at the pet campus and they also have dancing <laughs> hello <laughs> and they also have dance classes at the pet campus but the dance department is on the main campus it's very very confusing so be sure to check your schedule because this can be really confusing So today is my third day uh, here at the first week at SMC is my uh, fall semester 2016 and just one tip because buying books is a huge part of the first week of school. Changing classes and buying books is a really big part but as you can see the line to the bookstore is huge and my recommendations for buying books is actually to not buy them before you go to your first class the first, because the first you might change your classes, which is like the biggest thing. And also, the teachers might have other things to say about the books. Like, you might not have to buy like a new book with an, uh, with an online code or something. So you can like buy an older version or a used version so you can save money. And also, some teacher or actually a lot of teachers lets you buy like an old version. So it's also cheaper because a lot of the book versions are exactly the same except it's basically a new edition so it's kind of stupid I would really recommend to see your teacher ask them about it and or let them tell you because they usually tell you that the first day mm, so yeah because you can save actually a lot of money on that and also some teacher actually don't require you to buy any books they actually have some material online that you can read so yeah one more thing there's another bookstore actually outside of campus on Pico uh, they also have like the basically the same books that this bookstore have I don't know if it's cheaper I think it's a little cheaper uh, but this bookstore have basically all the teachers and their require books so it's a sh for sure bet and also you can usually find the books a lot cheaper online the only thing with that though is that books usually you usually receive them later like a lot later uh, I, I ordered like a book a few days ago and it's, it would come like in either I think like a week or two three weeks so it's not a safe bet but I mean I got it for like half the price so it's I saved a lot of money but I might get it like really late and like too late so I can't really use it even if I have to but if you want to use that tip you can so yeah uh, yeah that's some things that you can do if you want to save some money And also another thing, the book line to the bookstore the first week of school are, is always so long, so long. So if you don't want to waste a lot of time, it might be a good idea to buy your books in advance or like buy them online. That takes a long time too, but just take that into consideration that the line is super, super long the first week of school. So today's Friday. I don't actually have any classes today. I have my normal like class days, like Mondays to Thursdays, which is like the normal class days. Uh, but I went to school to like fix stuff, like get some books or like read some books because I haven't, uh, my books haven't arrived yet. So I like print stuff out and things like fix stuff uh, for the classes next week and everything. So yeah.
So right now I'm in the school library <laughs> If you can see that here uh, And it's actually Friday so I don't have any classes today uh, But yeah, so I guess it's like an end of the first week of SMC Or like the semester of SMC And usually after the first week it actually gets calmer Because the second the second week everybody has like, gotten their classes so The teacher has kicked out the people who didn't show up for class And the people who were like on the waiting list or crashed the class Usually got their like confirmation if they actually can make the class Or if they can get like an ad code because the teacher kicked out the other people <laughs> And stuff like that so you sh And everybody got their books and stuff for class and everything So the second week is usually a lot more calm So yeah, that's gonna be great um, Anyways, I'm really happy about my teachers My accounting uh, professor is great um, And my biology teacher is great And also my theater teacher seems to be great A little harsh, but you know Dance teacher and like theater teachers are usually pretty like strict and everything But I think it's gonna be fine uh, I don't know about my UCLA extension teacher yet, but I'll, I'll see that later. Uh, but yeah, but overall, I think this is going to be a great semester. I'm also going to take um, like an internship and that's count for one unit because <laughs> you have to take it as like an internship and like a one unit class if you're an international student. And I think you also have to do that if you're an uh, in-state student. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this semester. Uh, I hope I, I think it's going to be great. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this first week of at SMC. And just one la last little tip. Today is Friday. And it's like absolutely empty here in the library. So if you want to come and study at school or like do anything at school at all, like if, if you like not such like a crowded campus, take Friday classes because like there's literally nobody here. On the weekdays, it's packed so you can barely move.